Good morning, Devils fans. Hopefully you guys are still riding the high from a nice Thanksgiving weekend. And more importantly, that 7-2 win over Buffalo, which still feels pretty great. So, got some injury updates. Kind of delayed uh, recording this video. Hoping to get some great news out of practice. Instead, we got good news, I guess. Uh, jumping right into it. Curtis Lazar is skating uh, back with the team at practice today. So that is good to see. He has taken line rushes, so it looks like he is healthy and good to go. Uh, that will likely be confirmed with Lindy after practice, uh, which will take place after this recording. Obviously, then, that means there is no Timo, no Halla, and no uh, Nosek still at practice. So, Obviously, Timo injury is taking a little bit longer uh, than we were initially thinking. Uh, does that mean he is guaranteed out tomorrow? No, but probably pro probably is out. Uh, Halla, I would probably assume the same thing. Hopefully, we get an actual bit of an update, again, post-practice of what is ailing him, what kind of timeline we can expect there. Now, I think with Jack and Nico both being healthy, we can weather a Timo and Halla injury. You know, he still played really well uh, in the Buffalo game while he was out. Obviously, it's pretty easy to play well when you have four to five goal lead the entire time. And we did manage, obviously, to win that game in its entirety without Timo. But one point, this team will be fully healthy. Uh, I obviously would much rather this be happening earlier in the season than later. Uh, but it's a bit stressful when you are not, like, securely, securely in a playoff spot, which necessarily you can only be so securely in a playoff spot, but... It's pretty crazy. Uh, quickly jumping over to standings watching, not even 20 games in for us yet, while other teams are 20 or more games in. Rattle off two wins, a couple Metro teams lose their games, and we're right in a playoff spot, even top three in the Metro. So it's that close. The Metro is crazy tight. Uh, I think going into yesterday, the Capitals were second in the Metro, and then by the end of the day, they're now out of a playoff position, not even in the wild card. They have quite a few games in hands compared to a lot of those teams, but they are kind of back on the downtrend. So we'll see how their season continues to go. My assumption still will be Flyers and Capitals end up out of the playoff position. Us and Penguins end up in and just kind of where they are in the standings right now. Islanders might end up on the outside looking in, at least things how they're uh, projecting from here. Still a lot of runway to go though. Uh, back to the team. So we did get line rushes as of this recording. It is looking mostly uh, like what we saw versus Buffalo, but obviously, you know, Hala does change things up a bit. Uh, and then also another big change with a guy who's been playing forward seemingly back at D, uh, which was not be my preference. But at the top, we got to Foley, Jack, and Mercer again. Uh, I said it before, I think I would prefer Holtz in that spot. He did get a limited run there when Hala was out with the line shakes. Uh, playing with Jack and Toffoli, and they were dominant in that time. Now, obviously, the entire team was tom dominant all game, but I think they were basically 100% shots, 400% expected goals, 100% everything. Uh, so they looked really good. Not going to get the start, though, for Holtz there quite yet. Uh, I guess he has not quite earned uh, that privilege from the coaching staff, so Mercer is still there. I don't hate it, though. Uh, I think Mercer plays a lot better and has been playing better, but plays a lot better when he has a very succinct... Uh, playing style that he needs to do. And when he is at wing on Jack's line, it's play with that dog in you, especially with the Foley also there. Get behind the net, get in the trenches, uh, pick up loose pucks, get the puck to Jack. And he is also skilled and good enough to get to the front of the net, make nice passes, receive nice passes, and put the puck in the net. So I don't hate it. I just think Holtz has kind of earned that position a little bit. I would love to see Holtz actually get a run time with Jack at some point, but it's all right. I, I think Mercer... Uh, stylistically kind of fits that line very well, so I don't hate it. Uh, the second line sticking together, which I love, the Palat, Nico, Brat line, it looked absolutely dynamite. Can't touch that. Keep them together. That's a 200-foot line if I've ever seen it, and arguably probably one of the better ones in the entire league right now. So keep them running. Hopefully they uh, continue to play from last game, because if they can do that, my one issue, which is going to be the fourth line here, really should not matter when we have a top six that should be clicking at the pace uh, that's looking like it could. Third line then, so no Hollow, right? Uh, so we are looking at a Lazar McLeod Holtz line. Lazar was playing great uh, before his injury, uh, so I really don't hate it. I think he uh, is actually a pretty good substitute for Hollow there on that line. Mike Lee and Holtz have been looking really good together, especially last game, even the ones before that. So 
no issues there. Definitely keep them together. Uh, goals and back-to-back -back games with those two on the same line. Let's make it three in a row with Holtz there. Um, just basically let Lazar know how that one setup play works. Go behind the net, pass it to the net front to Holtz, and good things are going to happen. So no issues. Love it. Now that fourth line, oh boy. I would like it a lot more if Smith was still there. But as I alluded to, he is back at the defense as the seventh defenseman right now. So I don't know if maybe they're going to think of running 11-7. We've seen it work really well last season. It's had its issues this season. But the fourth line, as of line rushes in practice, was... Um, Wilman, Tierney, Bastion. Wilman's been fine for an AHL call up, call up. You guys know my thoughts on Tierney. I've just not been a fan. Just, just if the lineup was healthy, he's an AHL guy. And I just don't think he brings much of much. So, and Bastion has, again, he's had high, higher, higher highs, not super high highs, but higher highs. And some low lows. Uh, it really seems like he needs a really good play driving center. Like a McLeod. Maybe even a Halla. Uh, but yeah. He's been not as good as he was last season. Would love for him to find his footing. And I think they're going to give him plenty of runway to do so. But ideally. That fourth line again does not see much ice. I've said that before about the fourth line. And it did fine in the game. Uh, I was talking about uh, previewing. So maybe you know they do. Just don't get scored on. Just don't give up bad icing. That's probably my biggest one with that line. Just don't give up a bad icing where the Islanders can put out their one solid offensive line against you and actually score because that's really all you have to worry about with the Islanders. But we'll talk about them more tomorrow. Now to D. Not much changes there uh, except for Smith moving back. So we got Siegenthaler Dougie, we got Ball Marino, and we got Luke and Miller. Don't touch it. Let those guys cook. Let the ice uh, do exactly what you did last game. No complaints. Love it. Mwah. Keep that together. And then obviously Vitek and Akira in net. Who's going to get the start? Who knows? They seem to just kind of be going by the way of the wind sometimes with it. But really, neither goalie has been absolutely fantastic. Vitek did not have to do much at all last game. And I think the two he did give up are not really on him, especially on the PK. Akira's also had very, you know, ups and downs. But I think he is on the whole, had the better starts. So maybe he gets it against the Islanders. I thought he did... I, Maybe my memory is uh, off here, but I thought he had a really, really good game against them in the preseason. So maybe they go with that for that. But, you know, I thought Akira had very good games against the Rangers, which is why I'd get, I thought he would get the start there, and he didn't. So we'll see how the coaching staff leans. And we know we probably don't find out that starter until, um, you know, just before puck drop. Uh, hopefully some good news tomorrow as far as injury fronts go. Maybe Wilman's back out and throw Smith back in. They just want to keep Wilman fresh, give him some better line rushes. But... We'll see how it goes. Um, that's really it. Injury updates, line updates. Uh, vibes feeling pretty good. Islanders is a big game in division. Uh, yeah, the Columbus game, also in division, but they really are not going to pass us at all. Embarrassing that they let up those three straight goals in the third to let Carolina win in regulation. Oh, they should have closed that one out. Terrible. But it's how it goes. It's hockey, right? Uh, so Islanders is a big one. Flyers right after that. Huge game. Huge stretch here for the Devils. Still not fully healthy, but... We got our two cornerstones in Nico and Jack, so we love to see that. I will see you guys tomorrow morning, preview the Islanders game, and uh, let's win another one. Let's get a winning streak here going. Uh, start of the work week, yeah, especially after a holiday. Uh, short three-day work week, holiday weekend into a five-day work week is brutal, brutal stuff. But we'll, we move. We'll make it through. So see you guys tomorrow morning, as always and forever. Let's go Devils, baby.